for being here. Uh, I'm Joe Joyner. It's my great honor to be president of Flagler College, and uh, we have an announcement today. But uh, before I get into that, I just want to share just a quick uh, comment that I made to our Saints Club last week when they were meeting. This is my 43rd year in uh, education, and all 43 of those years, in some form or fashion, been involved in athletics in, in, in some way or another. And I told our, our, our Saints Club and, and our coaches, I don't think I've ever been prouder of an institution uh, than I have of, of, of our performance of our athletes, uh, both uh, from last year and, and, and currently now. And I don't think I've ever been prouder. And that's, that's a lot to say for a lot of years. But this, this group here has been very special in what they've done. When, you, when you're a president, you look at the, the important things. You look at, obviously, um, Character first, and of course we won the Institution of the Year award again. Uh, character is always most important. Then you look at academic performance, and so uh, winning the NCAA President's Award for our academic achievement at the college, uh, we placed in the top ten in the country in Division II school, two schools academically. And then the, the third piece of the puzzle, of course, is the performance on the field in um, winning our first ever Commissioner's Cup. And so our finest year ever in NCAA. So I, we've got a lot to be proud of. I want to thank uh, Athletic Director Damon and his uh, senior leadership team and all of our coaches, the Saints Club, and everybody else that contributed to that, and of course our players, um, and the support of their families for the great work that they've done. It's very, very special. You know, I think we need to stop and smell the roses at, at what a, what a, where, where we are, and it's thanks to a lot of people. The announcement that you're going to hear in just a minute um, is part of uh, an overall strategic plan for the college that we've been looking at um, over the next five years. And so we've integrated everything in the athletic arena in with our entire college strategic mm -hmm. plan. So it's one plan, one vision, and of course athletics is a big part of it. And so. Uh, with that being said, I want to introduce your athletic director, Mr. Jeff Damon. Thank you, Dr. Joyner. It is great to see the room full today, and uh, I actually you know, I, I do quite a bit of uh, talking to crowds, but I got kind of anxious, a little nervous about today, because today is, a, is an important day for us. Uh, it's a big day, and it's a, what we're announcing today is a, a big part of the athletic department trying to fulfill uh, our part of the college's strategic plan, especially in regard to the priority of cultivating a vibrant campus community. The announcement um, we're sharing with you today has been a long time coming, and a lot of you in the room can attest to that. It's been several years in the making, and in order to ensure that uh, we're as prepared as we can be to be successful. Uh, we made sure that uh, we were attentive to a lot of details. So the reason uh, that we're here and, and very happy to announce that Flagler College will be adding uh, the NCAA sports of men's and women's lacrosse and men's and women's outdoor track and field. There are a lot of people who deserve special appreciation, such as uh, one person that comes at, uh, to mind first off is Dr. Wayne Riggs, who is a faculty advisor uh, to the men's lacrosse program. When uh, it's, it's been a club for five years here on campus, at club status, he started out and gave all kinds of hours and time, and volunteer effort, and helping uh, us connect with good coaches to lead our young men who are part of the club program. And us, you know, obviously Brian Duncan, our coach, who's been uh, with us and kind of paid his dues for, uh, for the last uh, five years or so with the program and just waiting for this day to come, especially those students who have been a part of the men's lacrosse program and have worked so hard and been committed. Uh, I'm happy for them to see this day come. And, you know, in regard to track and field, we have relied heavily on uh, Coach Brian Beal to guide us with his vision for what our program could be and how we could be nationally relevant with not only track and field but with our cross country programs. Um, Brian's been unbelievable. And um, 
I'm really pleased that the, the way we're implementing these programs is going to allow us to be successful. Uh, and it's in keeping with Flag the College's approach to, if we're going to do something, we're going to try to do it right. We're going to try to be great at it. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go through very briefly just a kind of a who, what, when, where, why. Um, and at the close of our presentation here, everyone's welcome to come up and, and speak to the coaches or anybody else uh, up here, our, our guests, uh, so that uh, you can follow up. But I wanted to share with you, since we made the effort to be here, why we're doing it. Uh, as Dr. Joyner mentioned, the strategic plan uh, for the entire campus this, uh, by adding these NCAA sport offerings, it's going to enhance campus life, it's going to enhance student engagement, and ultimately it's going, it improves retention of students here. Um, for the student athletes retain at a very high level for obvious reasons, and that helps our overall retention rate. There's been a, it's a response to interest. People have been talking about lacrosse, adding lacrosse and track and field for a long time here uh, from all kinds of different constituents, from students, parents, alums, supporters, donors, community, all over the place. Uh, it allows us to improve our existing NCAA uh, programs by adding these. Uh, it helps with enrollment, provides stable recruiting pipelines, and good fits with our current student body, improves the student body's uh, gender balance and diversity, and increase the uh, institutional exposure in that place. It's supposed to do that. Uh, we should enhance the image and the reputation of the institution by how we compete and how well we compete. Uh, so that's kind of the why. Our plan is next summer, July 1st, 2020, that we'll be hiring full-time coaches uh, for these sports, or appointing full-time coaches for these sports. And then 21-22 will be our inaugural season, competing in the NCAA. So um, we are uh, very, very happy to have Brian Beal here, as I mentioned. So it's my pleasure to introduce uh, two of the coaches that will head up these new programs. Brian Beal, currently our head coach for men's and women's cross country and indoor track and field. It's his ninth year at Flagler College. Three-time Peach Bell Conference of the Year, at least. I might have missed a couple of them, but that's not the day. But uh, he's, uh, he will be overseeing our uh, outdoor track and field programs as well, and we've asked him to be here to share a few remarks with you. Brian. say how excited I am because it's been a long time coming when you talk about the amount of interest that you garner at a school like Flagler College from the community. You get an email a day or 20 a day from someone who wants to come run track and field and it's been a long time coming where I'm saying unfortunately we don't offer that and uh, I can't be more happy for the current runners who are here and the ones who are going to come here and be able to live out the dream of competing year round which has been a challenge for uh, for the student athletes who are here, who are doing it right, who have long strived to compete at the highest level and represent this great school across the country. We haven't been able to do that, and now we will, and it's, it's very exciting. I'm also especially pleased to be partnering with a local school, and I don't know if I'm giving this away, um, with St. Augustine High School. <laughs> I'm very excited that it's them because I feel like we can call ourselves the Blue Collar Boys on the men's team, and I feel like we have a, we're in lockstep with that. Uh, with the mantra of, of the Yellow Jackets. I think we, we get along very well with them, and I'm excited to partner with them moving forward to help build this into the nationally competitive program that will mirror the nationally competitive school. So thank you all for being here on this, this tremendous day for our program. It's hard for me to explain how patient Brian Duncan is. <laughs> and how much work he has put in to make this day possible. Um, and that's why he has earned this appointment uh, as our first full-time head men's lacrosse coach. And that appointment will start on July 1st uh, next. But Brian has um, given so much of himself to flag the college already. And I know he's going to be a great ambassador for the college and he's going to do a great job leading this program. Please make welcome Brian Duncan. It's been a little while since I've uh, 
been behind a microphone, so this is an excellent opportunity to practice my skills my mom taught me a long time ago, telling speeches. I just want to say I'm, I'm humbled, I'm honored, and I'm very grateful to be the first men's lacrosse coach here at Flagler College. You know, it started as a dream eight years ago. I uh, wrote a letter to Judd Damon, an email, and I asked them if they were interested in starting a Division II program here. And they weren't ready yet. They were saying that they were looking into it and that it was a good possibility it could happen. So four years ago, things changed again, and Dr. Wayne Briggs brought me on as the student uh, club coach. I took the opportunity because I felt like it was a pathway to getting to Division II across here at Flagler College. And I'm very grateful for Dr. Riggs and Rob Carson for bringing my name up to Dr. Riggs in order to come here and be the first coach um, for Flagler College. Um, you know, four years ago started a journey that, like Judd said, has been an interesting journey. Um, it's been a lot of work, a lot of prayer, and just hoping that everything we were giving to it was going to be able to find fruition. And now today it's a reality. So I'm a very, very proud guy to be able to do the kind of work you go do and you put your nose down and do the grunt work and you find where you land. And this is a great landing spot. So I just want to thank Judd for allowing this, for believing in me, and being patient and persistent because you've done all those things and I just appreciate that. Um, Dr. Bear, you're the guy that hired me. And I just want to say thank you so much for seeing the potential giving me an opportunity and giving me a chance to be here. I just, I'm truly appreciative, and my family is too. Um, Dr. Joyner, Board of Trustees, I truly appreciate the vision. I truly appreciate the opportunity to come here and compete and do the thing I love to do, and that's be on a field. I'm much more comfortable on a field in some gym shorts and gym shirt, <laughs> with a whistle around my neck, and making things happen. And I promise to work as hard as I can to bring the best product that we can to this community for North Florida and for also Flagler College. Um, I want to thank all the North Florida lacrosse people that have shown up here. This is amazing to see so many friendly faces that I've worked with over the years. And I've now been in North Florida for 10 years. And I've, I've worked very hard in the lacrosse community to try to make lacrosse players not guys that just pick up a stick and go run around on the field, but to make lacrosse players. Because I believe lacrosse players have a unique way of going through life. They're very driven, they want to do well, and they, they want to do the best thing for their family. And I just, I really truly appreciate what lacrosse players represent. And I'm going to try to bring the best version of those type of players here at Flagler College. I want to thank a couple of recruits that made the trip to leave school today and come up. You know, Logan and, and Shane, thank you so much for, for making this trip. Seth, if you're in here, thank you for coming over. Um, I had a fourth recruit that had a mandatory football that couldn't make it today. So I'm just excited already before we even get this announcement out to the, na to the nation that we already have four or five people that are interested in coming for that 2020 year and get ready for a year use it as a red shirt year, learn the verbiage, learn our system, learn about college, get comfortable and be ready to compete. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to show up. Caleb, my assistant coach. Caleb, can you walk up here real quick? <laughs> Caleb McCord is my offensive coordinator. This is the guy that comes and whispers in my ear when I need to do stuff, like blow the whistle, <laughs> call time out. And I've messed that up a few times. But we're going to fix it, right, going forward? This so, year, baby. That's right. <laughs> so Caleb is one of my really good friends, and I've become very close with him over the last couple of years, and I just want him to be a big part of what we're going to go forward with, with Flagler Lacrosse. So thank you so much for coming out here, Caleb. Appreciate it. Man. Thank you. Aww. I do have a lot of thank you, so I'm going to get through as fast as I can, but I'm almost there. Um, the other guy that I really need to thank is our club president, Evan Driscoll. You know, he came here four years ago, 
he was a guy that came to some of my camps in Maryland for years. And I just kept thinking, wow, he's getting better. Wow, he's getting better. He's really improving his game. I really want to take a chance and have you come down and play. And I asked him to come play in our first student club year that I was here. And he's come and he's a four-year member. He's my president and he's done all the behind-the-scenes work to allow us to be successful here at Flagler. So I just want to say thank you so much, Evan. I also want to thank a lot of the donors, and some of them couldn't be here today, but a lot of people have stepped up to make this easier for me here at Flagler in finding funding in order to make a student club work. And we've actually funded very well. We've replaced helmets and gloves every year. We've, we've done some things to make it fun for the students here so they continue to want to play. It's a volunteer thing, so it's not a, it's not a mandatory guaranteed thing that they're going to show up the next day. So we try to make it a great, great environment for them. And we've been very successful due to the donors. So thank you so much if you've been part of that process. Lastly, you know, this is the one that gets me a little bit because uh, I got a pretty cool wife. And uh, she's been there for me the whole time. She, she stood behind me when things were questionable and whether we were going to get here to this point or not. And I just want to say thank you so much for believing in we're going to do some great things going forward. So, this is my recruiting slogan, so you guys can kind of write this down and you'll hear it a lot. But I'm looking forward to bringing the nation's oldest sport to the nation's oldest city. This is a Native American sport that's been played for many, many, many years prior to settlement and now we get to bring that native sport right here and play it right here in the nation's oldest city. So I'm very, very happy to be the first head coach. I'm fired up, and I can't wait to put a good team on the field to make you guys proud. <laughs> Ten years ago, at a fall game, he called. Mindy is the head coach at Jacksonville University, and Paul's the assistant coach. He called me up and says, "You got to get lacrosse at, at Flagler College." And uh, well, it's taken a little while, but here we are. And thanks for being here. Um, we're going to hire uh, our head women's lacrosse coach July first, twenty twenty. Also, so we'll start that that process of doing a national search in the spring and then make that higher. But now you're probably wondering how we're going to do this when we don't have any facilities for these sports. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to construct a new facility on Old Moultrie Road as soon as we raise the, the funds for the cross, and we're going to complete that before that 21-22 uh, academic year. And an outdoor track and field, we're thrilled to uh, have worked with St. Augustine High School and with Dr. Graham to pull together a partnership that will allow our track and field programs to practice and to train at St. Augustine High School and will allow St. Augustine High School students, student athletes, to have the opportunity to compete at uh, Flagler College's beautiful athletic facilities for select games and various sports every year. So to say a few words about the importance of our partnership with the community, please welcome St. Augustine High School Principal Dr. Graham. It's a yes coming from St. Augustine High School. <laughs> but just to go ahead and share uh, just a little bit about the, we feel that it's so important uh, to have this partnership with Lagwood College and St. Augustine High School because we know that it's a village and this is our community. And so we are very excited about this. Um, this is history in the making, as I see. And so I just want to share with you Whatever you need, we're here uh, to help you and let us know what you need. So we want this to be successful for Flagler College and also for our new coaches to take over. I feel that 
sports is so important. Um, I played sports growing up, and it really uh, teaches you a lot about life, and, you know, character, hard work, discipline. So all of those things are very, very dear to my heart. So we are very excited about having this wonderful partnership with Flagler College, and I know that the best is yet to come to Flagler College. So thank you so much for this. And thank you. I'd like to take just a minute to show you where our uh, lacrosse facility is going to be. I didn't have you. Yeah, let me leave that up there for a minute, Dr. Grant. <laughs> there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, this is Old Moultrie Road right here. Right there. And you can, you can see our existing athletic facilities, if you know where that is. And this is where we want to... Uh, construct our lacrosse facility. So it's beautiful frontage right on Old Moultrie Road. This is a property that was acquired by the college about 10 years ago. Um, and we wanted actually originally to put the track there also, but it just uh, wouldn't fit. So we were putting our lacrosse field there and uh, it's a great location adjacent to our uh, current facility and it's going to allow us to do some, some other things with our parking which will improve that situation. Uh, this is another uh, view of it. So you can see uh, the parking, the field, the grandstands, and, and our existing facilities. And that's what we hope it will look like when we're done. In fact, the architect is so good. I really think that's Brian Duncan right there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks a lot like him, doesn't it? So, uh, that's what we'd love to do, and that's what we're, we're striving to do uh, for, for the lacrosse facility. And this is just a picture of what we have underneath with the locker rooms and concessions and public restrooms, etc. Um, so, in order to build this facility, we're going to need to raise a lot of money. In order to do that, you need a great professional who has a lot of enthusiasm for Flagler College, who knows what they're doing, has a high level of energy, and we are fortunate to have that person in our Vice President, Christy Meyer. So I'm going to ask Christy to come up here and say hello and talk about our plan. Christy. I'd like to thank Director, Athletics Director Jeff Damon, um, Coach Brian Hill, and Coach Duncan for getting us to all the hard work and planning that's gotten, gotten us to this point. Um, it's a big, big day for Flagler Athletics, so we're really excited about it. But the real exciting phase begins now, and that is as we launch our fundraising campaign to build the first class facilities for our young men and women to begin competition in the fall of 2021. This campaign will include, as he showed you in the slides, a wide variety of naming opportunities for state-of-the-art synthetic field, uh, playing surface, grandstand, locker rooms, concessions and abundant parking. The anticipated completion date for this, uh, this facility is around uh, August of 2021, is that what we're shooting for? Right. So that means we have to get busy very quick. I don't think I've ever had one year to raise this amount of money, but we're gonna get there. Got a lot of excitement. So if you or someone you know has a passion for lacrosse and Flagler College and wanna help us, um, assist us in getting to this point, please have them reach out to myself or Judd Damon or Coach Duncan. Um, I've got, again, lots of opportunities, lots of naming, and we just want to make this a very first-class facility, something that Flagler College is proud of, and something that will make it very easy for Brian and his uh, coaching staff to recruit um, outstanding athletes. So thank you very much for your time. I look forward to meeting any of you, to those donors that we have in the audience today. Thank you for investing in, in the program up to this point, and we hope that you'll help us uh, along the road as we move to this new venture. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Christy. So for those of you who are tuned in to college sports, one of the first questions that might come to your mind is, in what conference will we, will we be competing? Yes, I see that question on your mind, Will Brown. And uh, <laughs> thankfully, we are members of the Great Peach Belt Conference, um, and we are 
uh, in, in the Beach Bell Conference already uh, sponsors championships for outdoor track and field. Um, the Beach Bell Conference is an affiliation that we've had since 2009. Um, they have absolutely the best commissioner in, in the nation, and Dave Brunk. It's a fantastic experience for our student athletes. We're excited to have our track and field athletes competing in the Beach Bell Conference. And uh, we're currently in discussions with other D2 conferences about associate membership for men's and women's lacrosse, because right now, uh, the Peace Bell Conference does not have enough uh, member institutions that sponsor uh, men's and women's lacrosse. Uh, so, we hope to be associate or affiliate members in another conference that currently does. And when the Peace Bell Conference uh, gets up to that minimum number of having six sponsoring institutions, then they'll be able to sponsor championships. So, um, we're excited about that, and uh, as I as I mentioned, we, we're not going to have an open Q&A, but we're going to have a time uh, as we close for everybody to come up here. But the last thing I'd like to do is, uh, uh, I just want to thank all of our athletic staff who are here. Can all of our athletic staff, coaches, and, and non-coaching personnel please stand and just hold your hand up. We really are. Carol Branson, Holly Hill, and her staff, and Matt Green for working uh, everything out today. Uh, we really appreciate all the support, but uh, I'm really lucky uh, to work with the people I work with in the Fighter College Athletics Department and at this college in general across the board. It's a very, very special place. So um, we're excited about today, and I want, to, I want to tell you our commitment in, in athletics. We do want to win championships, absolutely. We want to do everything we can to win championships. But the way we do it is going to stand out, and it's going to look different. When you come to a Flagler College Athletics event, you're going to see something different and something special, something appealing. By the way our coaches handle themselves, by the way our athletes compete, and it's going to look very, very different. We're proud of that. And it's going to be the same thing with men's women's lacrosse and outdoor track and field as it is with our existing programs. So thank you all very much for being here. And please come up and speak to any of our guests up here. Have a great afternoon.